Hello everybody, Zach here and welcome back to a GTA 5 Chase Me. Today we're gonna to be using this 59 El Camino. When I saw this on GTA 5 mods, I said I need to have it in my game. You can have it in your game by following the link in the description below. Check out the awesome creator that made this. Um, but then I was also, I was modifying it for my game and I said I need to have the camper top. Obviously it is something that the citizens of Los Santos love because they're, you know, stopping taking photos of it. Um, but this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I put the camper top on because I was like, I need to put the camper top on. It looks absolutely ridiculous. It's already going to make us slow for a chase me. This thing is not going to win any land speed records anytime soon, but I think it'll be fun. Let's go. Dude, I love car. Just listen to this thing. Um, I did some other modifications, all part of the vehicle mods that come with it. Um, but yeah, that camper, that camper on top. This just looks like a camper driving down the road from the uh, from the camera behind, but we know what we've got up front. We're going by the police station. Oh my God, we are already wrecking this thing. The rear end on this thing is so heavy, it's unbelievable. And um, I have a bad feeling about today's chase me. I don't have any mods basically other than the trainer and this car in. So, you know, we're not doing chaos or mirrored world or anything. So wish me luck. The brakes are so bad and <laughs> the acceleration is, well, a 1959 El Camino with a camper on the back, if that gives you any indication. There's so much traffic in Los Santos today. Let's get two stars and uh, start getting into a chase. All right, two stars. I want to see what this does in the city before we just head up right onto the highway. I don't honestly think that this is going to do particularly well in the city. No surprises there. I mean, it's an El Camino with a camper top. So from what I could find, I only really saw models with the El Camino camper top um, or the camper top on the El Camino. I guess it was an option, but I don't know how many of them really were made and then how many of them survived to, you know, photos taken of them to actually be on the internet. I didn't really go into forums or anything to see what there really was. I just was doing a Google image search and only really set, you know, saw models of it or, or like the, um, Ooh, the ads for it. This is going to be a really slow chase me guys. <laughs> this thing. Uh, yeah, it's about as top heavy as you would think. And the brakes are just so bad. I, uh, did know, like I said, I did know mods other than visual to the car change out the interior. We got a nice digital display that works. That's cool. Um, I actually selected that. Um, and then I think if you have vehicle functions V or, you know, whatever that mod is, um, other stuff will work like the wipers and stuff. I don't have any of that in. I don't want to mess with my game any more than I have to. The Braille and then the, just the, the rear end just slides out from you when you slam on the brakes too. It's like the brakes lock up and you just lose the rear end. And here are our police escort. Here is police escort. You just got to use the brakes lightly. You got to go wide whenever you think you need to go anywhere. And um, you need to give yourself about five more minutes to get up to speed than you think you do. Oh man, this poor classic. And this is a one-on-one -on -one camper on top too. <laughs> only made one of these. I love how the wheels are integra integrated into the back, though, of the camper. They're just, you know, right from the car, just thrown on there. And the plate was in the bottom left, too. I think we lost it at some point when we got hit. Okay. Okay. I really need to modify the brakes on this thing, but I'm not going to. You're going to experience my pain. I have to go through it. Why would they have turned? Why? And they're dead. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Why would they have turned there? You're destroying my home. This is my camper. This is my home. My God, the rear. That motorcycle is going into oncoming lanes because it was spooked, I guess. Slowly but surely getting onto the highway here. All right. Let's go. Look at those white walls. Oh, I can see inside the, uh, I can see my plate inside on the car because of the damage we have to the camper. So I guess the camper doesn't really have anything other than a shell. 
um, for the mod purposes. I mean, that would make sense. It doesn't have to be enterable or anything. I tried to open doors and it did not open the door to the camper again, which makes sense. It's just like an add-on. It's not an actual enterable space. Oh, that motorcycle is still out here and it's still going into oncoming lanes. Why, buddy? Oh, that guy is dead. I need to watch this. Let's go into the oncoming lanes with this motorcycle. Man, you got off luck. See how far he goes and plus, oh, well, <laughs> the sheriff took him out. Sheriff should have been more concerned with taking me out, but they took out the motorcyclist that we spooked earlier. That's hilarious. Only in GTA. Only in GTA. So, have you guys played the new Saints Row? Um, I got a code to play it. I've played a little bit of it, and uh, I don't know if it'll make it onto the channel. Um, I was considering live streaming this week at some point. I might do that, and I might honestly stream Saints Row. I don't know if it's something that I could actually make content out of. Um, it is ridiculous. It is over the top, but it's broke. Very, very broken in a lot of ways. Very, very buggy in a lot of ways. And I say this as a person that modifies GTA and uses Chaos Mod and does other stupid things that make GTA very broken, but in GTA's default state, pretty functional, you know? And there's a lot of people that are, I'm not comparing it to GTA or, you know, I didn't expect a GTA 6 or a, a GTA clone nonetheless, but it is rough. It, this is essentially the physics. Okay. <laughs> but I can't do that. Oh man, look at this thing. It is not going well for Chase Me, and then I think we have some type of rear end damage, or that might just be this thing trying to get traction. No, I think we've got rear end damage here. Uh, I don't know, we're still moving. Let's just get off this dirt. Has a 59 El Camino with a camper top. Shouldn't ever drive on any type of surface other than the road. Immediately drives on dirt. Wonders why it's not capable. I am the meme format, everybody. It's me. Oh, we're just going to go right through here. Man, if this thing... Ooh, just turn. Turn, damn it. Welcome to Chase Me on Ice, everybody. Oh, I guess my right front is also popped from this chase that we're going on. We should have used any of those gas stations as repair points, but we did not. Uh, I did that. In, I've done that in Chase Me for a little bit where we've used the, the gas stations as like the need for speed repair points. There were a couple need for speeds that did that, correct? I'm trying to remember correctly. Ooh, too close. Yeah, that, you're not wrong, Franklin. And then we're in single player today, too. We're not in 5M, so not that that makes any difference on this. We're going to stop at the old gas station if we don't get, you know, stuck on the tree. And then we're going to go into this stupid big menu and do a fix. I know I'm not technically at the gas station, but this chase would be done for if I didn't fix here. I am very fearful about being this close to these pumps. Let's get back onto the road here and get away from that whole thing. Man, they really love to slam you. I was gonna try to turn there, but it's not gonna happen. Okay, you want me to turn there? Fine. Honestly, this thing drives like a boat. And that was before I put the camper on top. To be fair, this thing drove like a, a car truck, a cruck, a, a trar. You know, whatever the Camino is. Yep, I didn't want to go this way, but here we are. What do you guys want to see? Do you, if we get, if we die, or, you know, we lose these two stars, <laughs> should we just soup this thing up. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm also here with two stars. Just, I'm not going to be able to lose these two stars with this boat. I feel like we're also doing like 15 miles an hour average. Feels like the slow, one of the slowest chase me's I've ever done. Okay. <laughs> Off the hill. That actually seemed like it worked out. We're going to go back to our normal path that I feel like we go on for Chase Me all the time. Hey, we could lose stars here, but we're going to be driving right into the path of a sheriff. 
no big deal. Do you think this thing can even make it into the military base? And if it does, it will not make it out, likely. Correct. But we gotta try. We gotta try. Let's go. I just wish I had a little bit more high end, a little bit more gearing too, a little bit of more of everything. I wonder how much, even though this, you know, had a bet on it essentially, I wonder how much this weighed in 59. You know, cars were just a different thing back in the 60s. Right, this thing probably weighed two tons at least. And that honestly might be what the handling characteristics are modeled after. Oh my gosh, I think we're going to lose two stars. Now let's go up to the gas station here. One, kind of hide out. But then also we can, we can soup this thing up. Thank you. Everybody has commented on, well, I mean, it's not in a good state though, but we lost two stars. Let's modify the crap out of this thing. And then I think we'll have no problem getting into the military base. All right, so using the stock menu, I've changed and modified and upgraded our engine, brakes, transmission. I didn't change the suspension and I didn't give us any armor. Let's see how this does with a little bit of pep in its step. I honestly don't know. Oh, wow. I mean, it feels a lot better. The brakes and the overall, well, exactly how it handles, not so good. Just honking at that cop, letting him know I'm here. Uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves three stars. Give ourselves a little bit of a challenge to get into the base here. Um, you know, as much as I don't need additional challenge today. I feel like I saw this car and I immediately went, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that in Chaos Mod. <laughs> well, at least, you know, for any more than a couple seconds without it being just annihilated. Hello. Oh. oh my God. Okay. Come on, Franklin. Put it in gear. This. Who? Who thought this was a good idea? I did. I thought it was a good idea. I thought it would have some entertainment value. But instead, it's just a slippery, slidey, you know. Look at this long, this is not intended to be a drift either. I'm just drifting it because I can't get traction in this thing. This camper, should have took the camper off. Should have left my home at home. There we go. We're on a road. There's our door. Let's get some speed. Get some space. And then also, we're going to have to flip around up here and send it, you know, but you got to give myself, you know, 25 minutes to stop it. Even with the upgraded brakes, did they get a tire? I don't know, but they pushed me up a hill. No, no. Single player cops are another level. In my opinion, you know, five M three, two or three stars. This is not what they do. And they're so, they get that speed boost and they do that so often. I mean, I guess it's helping me. I shouldn't complain, but also it's just not great. But I'm trying to, this is the fastest we've ever gone in this thing. Mm, you jerks. That was my military base approach. And I was, I was having no problem with it. If the sheriff wasn't here. Good job. Great, great work. They're destroying this thing. I maybe I, I regret my choice of no armor. Ugh. I'm actually getting annoyed with the cops. No crap. I'm in chase me, but look, they've look what they've done to my boy. <laughs> okay. I'm still going to go for it. I'm still going to go for it. No. How about we don't open fire? No pinch. No box. Turn the thing. 
stupid indestructible bush. This indestructible bush is going to literally kill me. Okay. No! This is not what I wanted. And the military's here. And Franklin's dead. Camino. And indestructible bush. Rockstar, why is that an indestructible bush? Why is it not something you can drive over? Or maybe, you know, it's something that gives you... You know, there are bushes and other things that make it slower. Um, but they're not literally things that you can't drive through. The bush killed me, everybody. All right. We've dumped the camper. We've got surfboards on the back. We've got a cover on our boot lid or our trunk. Um, and we're going to see how well this does. I modified it. The brakes are still terrible. Absolutely terrible. We're going to head down here and we're going to attempt this one more time. Let's go. All right. We got three stars again. We're heading down towards the military base up here from Polito Bay because that's where we got, you know, resuscitated at. And I'm just hoping that I can maintain speed throughout all the dumb AI stuff that the cops will try to do here, including that. Man, this thing just struggles to get up and go to get grip in the first place. Um, and then, you know, obviously, like I said numerous times, handles like a boat. No surprise. I'm just trying to use every uh, technique I can to not get hit and to not strike and drive right into AI. I just want to jump over the military into the military base and immediately die. I just want to, you know, finish chase me how I do when I'm in a vehicle that is not built for a chase me like this one drove into the side there. So I could not get my tire struck and not get slowed down like this. But here we are going to be honest. One of the most <laughs> frustrating chase me's. I can't believe I'm saying that considering Chaos Mod and Mirrored World and everything. But this is just so frustrating to me right now. It's just because I can't get away. It's just because every time I get wedged and I get hit and because this thing drives like a truck. I'm just getting stuck everywhere. And we are just losing every piece. I don't know why that bumper looks like it's red now. But it does. This thing is falling apart, and we're going to send it off. We're going to send it off properly. As long as we avoid these dummies. All right, let's go. Our approach, avoid bushes, avoid trees, jump into military base, get four stars, hit this uh, upside down, all part of the plan, or par all part of L plan and then be stuck on it and not able to get off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then, you know, take five minutes to actually get it into gear and drive. And if I wanted to, I could just hop in one of these and, you know, we'd really be gone. Um, but you know, it doesn't stick to the spirit of chase me, if I'll be honest. And this is the spirit of chase me right here, driving too hard. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to hit literally. Okay, good. I missed that Jeep. I can't steer. I can't steer. I can't steer. And that thing isn't that thing's destructible, but some of the bushes aren't. Hmm. Logic. What do you guys think the odds are? Uh, definitely when looking at the blips on the mini map. What do you think the odds are that I get out of here alive? I'm going to say zero to. Well, no. Yeah, no odds. That's my point. Now let's sneak this way. Don't look back. So there won't be tanks. I looked back. There was no tanks. <laughs> yes. I cannot believe I'm going to leave this thing in such a state. But I am. And we're out. Wow. I honestly thought we had no chances of surviving that in the military base. 
I was hoping to throw them off their game. I kind of did, and now we are going to be stuck in here, and we are going to be dead. I hope you guys enjoyed this chase me. I'm just talking about my inevitable death here um, because the military is just going to box me in. Actually, good job. Good job, guys. They're going to box me in. They're going to sit in their cars. I'm going to wait till they get out, and then I'm going to go. Bye-bye. And uh, we're just falling apart here. No, 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 no. Turn, 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 Franklin, turn. Back onto the dirt, which has not been our friend. I can't, I can't steer. I have no steering. I think I can steer left. Just put me out of my misery, please. Please. You're like, you can aim. Put me out of my misery. You can't even do that. I'm telling you. Chase me. There it is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this regardless of how bad it went. And it went bad. This uh, El Camino was not built for Chase me. It's a cool mod. Has a pretty awesome customization options uh, across the board. Uh, including the fact that you can put the camper top on it is pretty cool. But is it fit for a chase me? No. I, uh, I was hoping it would have gone at least a little bit better. But it didn't. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this chase me regardless. And get the vehicle or your game by visiting the link in the description. Going over to GTA 5 mods. Adding it to your game. I really appreciate you guys coming along and watching this regardless of how bad it was. I'll see you next time.